Hey guys, welcome to the Real Deal Video blog, and this week I want to talk to you about people, places, and things. So I know what you're thinking to yourself, cool man, but I already know what a noun is, I don't really need to waste my time watching this video. Well, I'm not here to teach you about English. Hopefully your fourth grade teacher already did that. I'm talking about something else. It's a common saying around recovery circles, stay away from people, places, and things. And they don't mean just in general. I mean, obviously these are important parts of life. We can't just throw them away. They're talking about what and who you were surrounded with during addiction. First off, the people. We tend to go in the same direction of the people around us. And when we're surrounded by people using drugs and alcohol on a daily basis, that direction is usually nowhere good. Recovery can sometimes, often, bring us to a painful moment, and that's cutting off old relationships and saying goodbye to the toxic friends who are bringing us down. It may not be easy, but it's usually necessary. Old timers can tell you just how important it was for them to cut ties. And oftentimes, it turns out that these people weren't such good friends after all, and at the end of the day, we don't really miss them so much. And besides, if we follow through with recovery, we get new, better friends, and we get to be part of a community of like-minded people who actually care about us. Imagine that. Then there are places. I highly recommend that you do not spend time in crack houses when you're in recovery. More than that, sometimes we have to stay away from our old stomping grounds, places we used to hang out, bars we used to go to. Sometimes it means moving out of the place we were using in, even if we were calling that place home. Treatment and sober living exist for a reason, to break us free of the surroundings that were a negative influence on us, that were feeding into that cycle of addiction and misery. And of course, giving up the things is easy. If you have something and it brings back memories of addiction, or it makes you feel like going out and using, like relapsing, Chances are it needs to go. An added benefit of recovery is that we can keep it together enough to get a job, then we can buy new things, nice things. So the point of all this is we have to say goodbye to a lot in recovery and it isn't always an easy process, but it's usually necessary if we want to build a new and better life. And the crazy thing is that when you learn to let go, you'll be absolutely amazed at what you're given in return.